moment that I die, I'm going to be in the presence of God. And it's going to be a wonderful life, a thrilling life, something beyond anything that we have here in this world. The legendary Reverend Billy Graham has died. The 99-year-old evangelist passed away at his North Carolina home, and his impact from the pulpit can be measured really globally. In 2007, the Billy Graham Evangelistic Association estimated since 1947, he had preached the gospel to more than 215 million people in more than 185 countries. But his humble beginnings can be found in Putnam County. And that's where On Your Side's Ken Amaro begins our report. This is where it all began in this small country church in Boswick, Florida. It was Easter Sunday, 1937. Billy Graham was 18 when he preached his first sermon. It will be his first step in a journey of ministry that lasted 80 years. Jesus said you have to become as a little child. He was a man who was fully yielded. Uh, to the Lord, and God used him in a remarkable way. You haven't found the peace in the For decades, the, the Billy Graham crusade was heard and seen in homes across America. Bow your head. Dr. Bob Barton remembers. I would say that his ministry has affected me. In Barton, a minister of evangelism at Westside Baptist, says Graham's character is a testament of his faith. There's no one going to write anything that says he was a faker or a fraud. He was, the, he was a genuine article. It was his character that opened doors. Graham would become the pastor to presidents, starting with Harry Truman. Billy was a very humble man. In Palatka, Billy Graham is memorialized in a large mural and in the heart of Tommy Underwood. He says, my name is Billy to you and you always use it. You know, I remember that as just a little fella. Underwood's father baptized Billy Graham he has conquered the grave. and would later ordain him as a Southern Baptist preacher. My dad was a mentor to Billy for years. The Graham family and the Underwoods would become friends forever. I met him several times at some, one of his, some of his crusades and he would always say, there's Tommy, let me go talk to Tommy. Marie Long is Underwood's sister. She now lives in Cleveland. Everything about him to his core was genuine. The moment that I die, I'm going to be in the presence of God. Five years after publishing his book, Nearing Home, Marie Long says her friend is finally home. What an amazing welcoming committee. He has waiting for him at the pearly gates, led by Jesus and followed by his, his wife, Ruth. Billy Graham was born in North Carolina, but his humble beginnings in ministry is deeply rooted in Putnam County. Recently, Jeannie Blaylock spoke with his son, Franklin Graham. Jeannie? That's right, Ken. Thank you. I did. I had the honor of interviewing Franklin Graham in Jacksonville about his father, and I asked him about Billy Graham's first sermon. He was only 18 years old. I was told it was Easter weekend, 1937, in Putnam County. I think what my father had been invited to speak, and um, he only had four sermons total uh, that, that, that he had, but he was so nervous. Uh, he, I think he preached all four of them <laughs> at, at that one time. Franklin says his dad always had a heart for our area. And, you know, God just used um, North Florida as kind of where my father uh, started his ministry and uh, cut his come. teeth, so to that's speak. Right. And I think that's why I always had a, a love for Jacksonville. And the love of God for all people and the peace, Franklin told me his dad instilled that in him. When we were in his boat, it doesn't matter what storms we run into in life. Uh, we know that if we're with him, we're safe. Uh, even in death, we're safe because we're in his arms. And when this world comes to an end, I'm going to be immediately in the presence of Almighty God. Not because I'm a good guy, I'm not, but because I've been forgiven. What a message. And talk about a humble beginning. Is it true that he used to practice preaching to alligators and cypress stumps? Well, there was a, um, a golf course near the, the Bible school. And, uh, and they had cut some trees down as they were expanding the golf course. And he would go out there and he would just kind of imagine in his mind those stumps uh, being people. And, uh, you know, standing there and practicing his message, speaking to the stumps. You've got to know Christ for yourself. 
Franklin says his dad never wanted to be a big shot preacher. He just felt called to spread the good news of the gospel. Funeral arrangements are still being planned, but we do know that Billy Graham will be buried in his hometown of North Carolina next to his wife, Ruth, who passed away in 2007.